Hi everyone. So in today's video, I am going to release our second surprise of the three surprises I've been talking about. The first surprise I released last week, and that was at Fletcher Farms Amarillo Got Chickens. And today I'm about to release our second surprise. And this story actually started about two months ago when I was on Facebook, which Corey said I'm not allowed to go on Facebook anymore. But I happened to be scrolling and came across one of those Kill Pen connection groups. And someone had shared a post about an, a draft horse that was in urgent need of rescuing because she was being shipped to slaughter the next day. The problem was that she was in Sneedsville, Tennessee, and that's about a 20-hour drive from us at Sexton Horse and Mule. So I contacted the um, I contacted Sexton and they said that she was still available. She had clean legs, no problems or anything like that with her feet. And she came from an Amish farm in Ohio. So I asked Corey if he wanted to take the 20 hour drive to go pick her up and he agreed. So this story is about us rescuing another draft horse. And we're very excited to share this story with you and everything that we went through to get her here and everything that Corey did. I can't thank him enough for taking that drive by himself because I had to stay here with the rest of the animals and take care of them but this is the the story about her her name's Freya and her journey here and her her start to her retirement here at Fletcher Farms Amarillo so this is the story about Freya and I hope you enjoy it thanks so much for watching so these are the pictures from the post that I saw on Facebook about Freya these were from Sexton Horse and Mule She's 20 years old, 17.1 hands tall, an absolutely beautiful girl, and I'm so excited that we were able to add her to Fletcher Farms Amarillo so she can retire comfortably. Before she got here, we needed to set up a quarantine pen because she needed to be separated from the other horses for about two weeks to make sure that she wasn't sick and that she didn't give the other horses anything. So we set up a temporary panel fence area for her outside the pens where the other horses were at. So this was us setting up the quarantine pen for her. So we had to drive some T-posts and this was my first experience driving T-posts here on the farm. So it was a pretty fun experience. No excuses, just hammering. All right, you're good. We wanted the quarantine pen close to the other horses but not close enough that they could touch noses. So this was where we put it on the farm. Got our quarantine pen set up. Anyone can guess what's coming? Should be interesting. This was Corey coming down the road with our new girl, our newest addition to the farm. And he was so excited to see the house because this was a 20 hour drive for him and a three day journey. He drove it straight through like a trooper. And Freya was a trooper as well. They hit some bad weather, but Everything turned out great. She's like, I don't want out of this. Yeah, I want out of this thing. We have made a 17 hour drive, probably more than that, but we are home now. This is our new girl. This is Freya. She's another Amish draft that was rescued from Ohio. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit. There you go. Step down, babe. She's probably getting used to her legs again, so hold on. There she goes. Come on, step back. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, the kids are coming over to see the new girl.
first time trying some Alpha Pro. I think we like it. We've been here for a couple hours now. We just got brushied. We're pretty, pretty tense still, but we need to gain some weight. You can see, it's pretty. Your spine's pretty pronounced. Your hips. We need to gain a little bit of weight. But otherwise, she's a beautiful girl. She's relaxing. We're doing good. We ate a bunch of hay. Drank some water. We're not super excited about the Alpha Pro. But we're here and we're relaxed. Are we resting? Yeah, we're tired. Yo. These are a few other pictures of Freya from when she first got here and her unwinding and adjusting to her new environment and learning that this is what retirement's going to be and that you don't have to work anymore and that you can relax. So this is the start of her journey. We got Freya here and we got her settled into her quarantine pen and the very next day we got a horrible storm. It had 80 mile an hour winds, golf ball size hail, rain, thunder, lightning, you name it, we had it. It flooded the property and in the midst of this storm, with her not having any shelter out there, I made the decision to bring her into the barn. Not knowing her history and where she had been, this was a very risky decision to make because we didn't know if she was carrying any diseases that could be passed on to our other horses, but I wasn't about to leave my horse out in this type of weather with golf ball size hail and no shelter. So this was during the storm. The other horses were actually still in the barn finishing their dinner. So I had to actually stand in the barn with her until I could get her into a run when the other horses kind of went out afterwards. So she was pretty, pretty worked up because of the storm and uh, this was her when she finally got in the run and doing some scratches on the wall. And then the next day everything froze because it snowed. <laughs> That's the wonderful weather we have here in Amarillo. But this was the horses coming in for breakfast so they actually got to meet Freya. We really didn't want them touching noses this soon, but we, like I said, we took a big chance because of the storms. We had a storm the other night, so we had to bring Freya inside. She's doing good though. She's got her bucket full of hay, which I'm pretty sure she'll probably finish off by tomorrow morning. But we're doing good. This was Mabel meeting Freya for the first time and touching noses. It was super sweet. This was her one morning I went out to go feed her and she was actually sleeping like this and you can see the drool coming out of her mouth. Thankfully Freya didn't have any health concerns. She never had a runny nose or anything like that so she wasn't sick. So she didn't pass anything on to any of the other horses so we were extremely grateful that she was healthy and everything worked out. This was her after breakfast with her Alpha Pro mustache. It's a little hard to see, but it's all green. We repurposed the panels that we bought for the quarantine pen and fenced off a little area in the paddock so she would be able to walk around and have a little bit more free space and still have access and being able to see the other horses. So this was her and the first time out in the bigger paddock. She's such a sweet girl with a sweet personality and I just love her little, her nose with her mustache and this video just made me, made me smile every time I saw it and that, how happy she actually looked um, just being in a comfortable environment.
She's a very expressive and loving animal, and when you find a good spot when you're scratching her, she'll usually do something, either turn her head or turn her leg in like she's doing in this video when Cory finds a good spot. She turns her leg in right there and just loves being petted and loved on and scratched. She also likes to do her own scratchies. She does this pretty much every morning, goes out and scratches on one of the fence posts um, out in the run. She also decided to use her feeding dish or her manger for scratching the back of her legs. So she's a very creative horse as well. We actually started giving her some a supplement called horse shine and that actually helps with her coat and her skin and she's she's still itchy but not as itchy as she was before and her skin's definitely not as flaky This was Miley coming over to say hi to her, or actually try to eat her hay, I think is why she was over there. But this was the first time that they had an interaction out in the paddocked area and not just in the barn, so this was actually a sweet moment. More fence post scratchies. I just think it's so cute when she does this. This was a relaxing Sunday morning out in the sun. She was enjoying the sun and so was mama and baby donkey. Are you hanging out with donkey? Oh, are y'all friends? Did you make friends? And she found another spot to scratch her neck. So that's what she's doing right there. The next morning I came out to the barn to feed them breakfast and saw her like this. I honestly thought she was stuck in her manger and couldn't get her leg out. And really what she was doing was she was scratching the back of her leg on the manger. I managed to catch this super cute moment with the baby donkey Mabel chewing on Freya's tail and her not knowing what was going on. But I just thought it was sweet that they actually play together and interact together as much as they do. Are you the pretty, pretty princess? Are you? You're adorables with that little nose and mustache. Yes, you are. My pretty princess. Yes, you are. Look at how beautiful you are. Yeah. What what happened in your in your stock here in your stall? Did you knock the um? Did you knock the plug out of your waterer? Yep. Knock the plug out of the water. These are just some more pictures of her on the farm here in their stall and walking around in the barn and her just relaxing and unwinding and de stressing. And this one, I actually thought she was praying over her hay, which I thought was very cute. But these are just some more pictures of her and just some goofy pictures of her and just her being adorable.
A few weeks ago, my best friend from Chicago, Janine, came down to visit and to meet all the animals, and Freya absolutely fell in love with her, and she fell in love with Freya. So I captured some of these adorable moments between them, and this was her actually grooming Freya and finding all her good scratchy spots. Did you get a good scratchy spot? Yep, yep, good scratchy spot. Or drooling too. No. Yeah, there you go, that's his spot. You're missing it again, lady. Get the good scratchy spot. Oh, yep, yep, right there. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's a good spot. <laughs> My arm's getting tired, Freya. Keep going, lady. I don't care. Yep, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going, yep. I've been releasing Freya out into the larger paddock now when the other horses go out into the big pasture just so she gets used to this area. Because pretty soon we're going to introduce her to the rest of the horses so she can be with the herd and actually do horse things. So this is the next stage in her journey and we're so excited to have her here on the farm and absolutely love her and she's just an amazing horse. And just like all the other horses, she found the scratchy tree. Between her and all the other horses, I have no idea how that tree is actually still standing. We just want scratchies and pets, I know. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of the first day out in the paddock? Pretty good? Yeah, I know. I wasn't quite sure how she was going to react out in the paddock, so this was day two. I walked her out on a halter and she was extremely excited to get out and stretch her legs again.
putting Freya out into the bigger pasture. So we're getting her used to that. So when the other horses go out into the big, big pasture, Freya gets to come out where they usually are at night. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So this was day four, and she pretty much had it down pat that she just walked out there on her own without a halter. So this is our new girl, Freya. She's super sweet, super gentle. She's about 20 years old. She needs to gain a little bit more weight, but we've been working on that. Getting used to the farm and all the other animals. But she's, she's so sweet and so gentle. And obviously took advice from Charlie on how to do YouTube videos because she wants to get right, in, right into the camera <laughs> like Charlie does. <laughs> but this is Freya. And I hope you enjoyed her story. And this is her now. And I'll be doing more updates on her and everyone else and more videos with all the horses. We're going to release her pretty soon out with everybody else so she can be out in the pasture. But this is Freya, and I hope you enjoyed her story. Thanks.